loot subscription. We got champion conference. So that means we're going to have to commit early to a comp. Riven and a tier. Those don't go together. I mean, I do like playing mythic a lot whenever I see this like champion conference. Just because early Hui is always so good. We have a Riven bear. What are the exalteds? I'm going to put in as much story weaver as I can here. Try and get a story weaver unit. I might be able to get a Riven 2 out of this. I could also just buy this Jax 2, which I think I'm going to. Jax 2, hold the Kha'Zix. Lucky pause. Hold up. I got a Bruiser. Okay. We are lucky pause now. I'm going to reforge Glove, see what I get. Rod. I mean, I do like Ionic. Maybe I win or I get a gold on this fight. We have to be six Bruiser lucky pause. And we go Redemption Declaw next. Hey, first gold. Oh, we got two. When I see Lucky Paws, I play Lucky Paws. Three gold. I mean, I'm just happy as is. I'll take the loss. Give me all the Copacos. Anytime you bench a unit, Malphite knocks them off. So they won't have items anymore. If I see a Rek'Sai, I need to pick it. Oh, I, well, I already have one. I guess I still need to pick up any more. I'm going to hold all the one cost. Lucky Paws is not the best thing for playing this, though. I will say that for Champion Conference. Silas, Galio, Rek'Sai, and TK. I guess I'll put Riven in. I would love to hit a Bruiser Emblem plus Well Fed. Yes, the training dummy does count as a unit, so you can gain gold off of it. Got two gold this time. Right, get in there for Bruiser. I know the lighting's really weird right now. It's because I have a window by my front door and it's sundown. So the light's literally just coming straight through to me. I mean, that was 900 damage for one punch. Normally I do play Aurelia in this comp, so I could try and get Aurelia's. I have Hanging Tear. I could go Archangels. I'd rather go for like a belt, just build Redemption. I know a lot of people like to do like the Titans Resolve stuff, but normally whenever I do this, I try and play like Redemption Ionic Declaw. Slam my Redemption and then pick up this extra one. All right, pick me up some gold. I have six extra, so I'd have to get four gold in order to sell. And there's one. I am not winning this fight, so I'm not gonna get the four. Well, two, unless these ults just turn out to be enough. They might be, because I'm going to get this kill. That's three. The healing, does he get his ult off, though? Oh, he does, and I got the fourth. I can hit 40. Extra Kobako. I only need one gold to hit 50. Also, later, I can move the Ionic. Like, I can move the Ionic to Silas and then put another item here, which is just fine. I got my gold. That's what matters. Now I can start rolling. Riven 2. I'm just going to hold these. This guy's holding two Kobakos on me. Anyone else just like got Kobakos chilling on their bench for no reason? Doesn't look like it. Don't care about holding two costs. It's a bow. Belt. I'd be fine with the War Mogs. There's one. There's two. Another TK. I am rolling it down, I think. TK two. There he is. Kobako three. All right. I don't care about these anymore. I would really, really like to go for like a good third item, like a D-Claw. Hitting the TK2 is very good though. I'm gonna sell the Riven. Oh, I would have gotten missed connections. I didn't have to roll all that gold. I mean, partial ascension is probably just a pick. Anytime you play a bunch of bruisers, partial ascension's good. Now the true goal here is to get a giant Kobako and also bench him with set. Yeah, I would love for a D-Claw third item. Is this guy six? Yeah, he's six duelist. We do one shot whenever we ult right now. Apparently not the Volibear though. Two gold.
I want Kobuko to get the kill. No. All right, we're back at 50. Now I can start leveling. Galio or Silas on Carousel would be insane. I need to add Aurelia. There we go. This is just the comp, normally. I would still be down for Wellfed. Kobuko, you need to be getting more of these kills. There we go. You're not going to be able to attack this one, though. It's all right. TK will eat him. What's the encounter? Three costs? There's a spat. Never getting it. Red buff is good to hedge towards my Aurelia for later. Other than that, it's probably just Warmogs. I'm going to take the red buff. I am going to go ahead and level here. We'll just throw in Soraka, get Altruist, and then give her the red buff. I can also stay above 50. Like, I'm never holding this alone. There we go. I'm already back to 50. How much health has my Kobuko gained so far? 468. Another gold. Another gold, get the punch in. You got it. Another TK, it's fine to hold TKs, I think. Like, it's better than holding Rek'Sai's. I think Aatrox is better than holding Rek'Sai's at this point. Oh, this guy's level seven. But he's playing Fortune. Oh, he has Wellfed. Uh, my Kovako demolished his in the mirror match, I'm sorry. Oh, more gold. Another TK. Yeah, I'm gonna hold these extra TKs. I don't think I'm down to hold the Soraka, but for now I might as well. I put in Bruisers again just to make sure I get either Galio or the Silas here. One of the two. There's the Galio. Six Bruiser. Get Soraka back in. Red buff. Don't care. Don't care about any of these. I really need to build a third item. I'd prefer it to be D-Claw. Go, go, Copa, go. And punch. Yeah, give me that gold. No encounters for the rest of this stage, so I'm safe to use my gold to level. Combat caster? I don't think it's gifts or threes a crowd. I'm down just to take combat caster. Try and make sure we last longer. I'm gonna hold a story weaver here. I could level. I am gonna level. Attack speed. Give me that chance of seeing set. I know I lose out on a little bit of permanent health value. We had some issues with this Volibear earlier. Because we're stunned for forever. There we go. About time. That was almost bad. I would prefer Kobuko to get the punch, but I don't think he's going to be able to get over in time. Also, how is this guy not following me yet? What level is he? Level 8? So we're both level 8? He hit a set. Rude. I might sell one of these TKs to hit 50. Oh, I need to watch this set positioning too. Oh, that's a Diana 3, by the way. More gold. What I could do is get Warmog's D-Claw, move the Ionic to Silas. That would be best possible scenario. Punch him. Goodbye. I don't even have to sell the TK. I mean, I would love this. That's never happening, though. Like, it's set, Kiana, or Janna for me. Ain't no way they let me get set. Okay. 
I want this cloak. Get my third item here immediately. Here you go. This is for you. I'm just making sure that my Kobuko doesn't end up getting hit by this guy's stupid set. No one else has a set that I have to worry about, right? No. Yeah, that's a way to lose fast, is to get my Kobuko jumped by set immediately. Well, Kobuko is on the Syndra and has taken basically zero damage. I have Partial Ascension, too. I could go 9 now. It's not worth it, because I would lose so much value. Yeah, if I hit a Warmogs, then I'm very happy. This guy ended up only playing 4 Bruisers, which really sucks for him. Combat casters also just, like, live infinitely, Kobuko. Oh, too bad we didn't target the Shin first. And this is a very good comp, too. We almost knocked him out. He's one off a Lowey 3, though, so he has a chance. And he has a Ghostly Spat on his bench. Galio Pair. Theoretically here, I should get Norelia immediately, but maybe I should... What if I do this? Oh no, that, that's not good. I need to put in a different Warden. I was trying to trick it. I don't think it's going to work, though. Here, let's sell this off. Rageblade's fine. I didn't want to get a Dryad. What did it give me? It gave me a Huey. That's even worse. I mean, I guess it's not worse, right? I could just play a Huey and then duplicate something. It's just fine. Rageblade, Huey. See if this is a belt. It's not a belt. But I'm thinking about items for Aurelia now. I guess I could go just Rabadons here. I'm gonna go Guardbreaker. This guy still can't beat me. Galio 2. I could go to 10. Like, what if I go 10 and just play Huey? I'm kind of down for that. There are no sets that I have to worry about out of the people that I could fight. Rage Blade Huey is kind of funny. There's my Ascension Trigger. I guess Huey should be one over, technically. Nothing's killing this Kobuko. How much damage did he block? 9.3. Oh, he killed it. That's more than anyone else has done. So he can be proud of his achievement. Way pair. I'm definitely just leveling. If I roll for a set, though, it's so good. Roll for a set. Way two. There's a set. Bench those two. Soraka, get out of here. There's a Silas. Extra Galio. I'm down to print the extra Galio. Go for Galio three. I was hoping to find another set that I could start printing on. This remover is like actually completely useless though, by the way. That's a set with a Titans. I would love that. How much did he gain? 20% from that first turn? Damn it, he took my set. I'm gonna take an LW. I guess I am leveling now. Let's get this way in the corner though. That's a set two that I do have to worry about. Let's see if he actually tries to reposition. He doesn't. Him not trying to reposition is weird to me. He definitely should be. 
Because his way of beating me is by getting onto my Kobuko, I think. Oh, this guy might actually beat me. I think he does beat me. Oh, he definitely does. Somebody's gonna beat me, no! Damage blocked, 6.5, that's actually not that much. Extra Huey. Here, you can have the rod. I'm definitely leveling. This guy's also playing Galio, which sucks. I do get to fight him, though. Honestly, the best thing for me at this point is to hit a set two and hit an Aurelia. Here's my gold. I guess I could swap Silas in over Rek'Sai. I need to go ahead and get Umbral in. That seems way better. Position like this. All right, I should get Aurelia now, right? I do get Aurelia. Sweet. Rally a pair. Where'd my items go? Where'd my items go? Um. Excuse me? Where are my items? That is so lame. They were in the middle of the board somewhere and I don't get them back now. At least not for a while. There they are. Here, take these. They were meant for you originally. I missed out on so many Rage Blade stacks, though. I end so much red buff damage. That's really lame. Go ahead and level. I'm missing Rek'Sai to put in if I wanted. At this point, it's probably just play a Lilia. Get Mythic in as well. And I can roll it down at any given point. Where was... Oh, this guy's 8 Duelist. Okay, this guy still has Galio. So we're against the 8 Duelist guy. I might still beat him. Pretty close, though. He has Aurelia, too, as well, yeah. The other guy's out, though. That means Galios are back in. All right, let's roll then. Silas 2. Relia 2. Extra Huey. Silas. Lilia 2. Silas again? Set pair. I think I'm not hitting Huey here. Okay, this is means that I'm supposed to go ahead and put Silas in this. Once this set two gets onto my Kobuko, I don't know how to beat it though. He just ults and then kills everything. Oh, we killed it. it just took forever. And there's a set. I probably just take the set for my own set two. I get another Rage Blade, which isn't great on really anything. We go Rage Blade Silas. I mean, it's probably a Rage Blade Silas, honestly. Fighting this guy, I'm gonna swap sides last second. I'm gonna do this. We already had 180% attack damage. And Lucky Paws is easily one of the most fun augments. Surely I beat this guy now, I hit all my upgrades. It's very close. Okay. I do beat him, though. What about the other guy? Alright, so we're guaranteed into the last fight. I think I'm supposed to sell Galios here. And then we just play. I'm gonna swap sides with the set again. Or not with the set, but with the Kobuko again. Because if I let him just target Kobuko for free, I lose the game. I have to keep him from immediately hitting the Kobuko. I think that's kind of obvious at this point, though.
Probably should swap sides with the back line too. Because right now he's just able to hit my Aurelia pretty early. Come on, Aurelia. No. Wait. This could still be a win. Kobako. Kobako. Get him. Get him. Bang. He is going 10, though. He isn't holding any Silas's on me, though. So that's nice. Extra Huey. Extra Huey. Extra Silas. Another Huey. I can't go for it, I don't think. What do we get here? Starax? Oh, he's playing double two-star set to try and catch me. That's kind of crazy, going for that. Like, that actually might be the tech here. Like, I kind of believe in that being the tech. If he beats me, then that is the deck. Okay. Alright, we roll the rest of the way for Silas now. We didn't even hit. Swap sides again. Here's hoping. Oh no, he got me this time. Yeah, that's a GG. We got RKO'd by the sets. And they're still currently getting RKO'd by them. Let's get the ult off, please. No! You're not even ulting! What are you doing? He's just infinitely healing. This man had the tech to beat it, though. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know down below.